We're going to change the mood here a little bit now and move on to something that CBSNews.com has been covering on an ongoing basis, the series Marijuana Nation, which examines the evolving debate over marijuana legalization. In recent developments, outgoing Governor John Corzine is likely to sign legislation making New Jersey the 14th state to allow chronically ill patients access to medical marijuana. And today, we are joined by comedy legends Cheech Marin and Tommy Chong. Cheech and Chong, in town celebrating the Marijuana Policy Project's 15th anniversary gala yep. and also kicking off their new comedy series, Get It Legal, yep. this Saturday in Boulder, Colorado. Yeah, our, our new show, Get It Legal, that's what we're going to do. So you are speaking tonight to the Marijuana Policy Project. This is a serious organization devoted to getting marijuana legalized. Yes. Are you two stoners the best <laughs> spokespeople for this? <laughs> Well, it's mostly music and sign language, you know. So <laughs> oh, okay. A universal language. Yeah, we're, well, we've been you know, around as, almost as long as pot has been around. So, <laughs> so who better to speak for it than us? You know? So you're going to be honored tonight. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. What did you say? Stoners of the century. Stoners of yeah. the century. Yeah. Uh, you've done a lot uh, in, in uh, how many movies? Eight? Uh, uh, something like that. Eight, eight. movies, uh, yeah. nine comedy We're stoners. Albums. We can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch. Uh, quite a few. But you certainly identify with it. But, yes. But, okay, the Marijuana, C Poli Marijuana Policy Project is doing something they consider very serious, trying to get uh, pot legalized, yeah. particularly for medical use. Well, they're the ones that are responsible for the initiatives being on the ballot and for getting us where we're, where we're at today <clears throat> with the legalization for uh, chronically ill people. Uh, the, the truth is marijuana really is a medicine and it's been a medicine for 5,000 years uh, in China and, and in Mexico. Cheech was telling me that, that was it your grandmother that used a salve that for, for ailments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she would boil it and make a salve, you know, like for rheumatism and, and muscle arthritis. Ache, arthritis, and arthritis. And to get stoned, too. Yeah. Yeah, well, and alcohol is a medicine, too. Yeah. I mean, you <laughs> put alcohol Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If you, if you drink red wine, you'll uh, risk, lose the risk of heart attacks. But, of course, the argument that the uh, Marijuana Policy Project makes is uh, it's, uh, it's important to change these policies so people can use it not just for medical purposes, mm -hmm. but for well, recreational purposes. Well, yeah. recreation is, is a medical, uh, uh, when, you think, when you look at, say, during the war, war times, you know, uh, when the troops, they had to have their recreational time. You know, you couldn't just, you, they couldn't just be fighting. Yeah, but they, they had to have their, weed. they had their R&R. &R. Well, they, they didn't uh, have a choice. In, uh, and, you know, it's, Vietnam, it's, they did. Yeah, yeah, Vietnam. They got it themselves. At least, yeah. at least yeah. the last three generations, their preferred intoxicant is, is marijuana rather than beer. I think we yeah. should have a referendum. Beer or weed, <laughs> you know. You have to choose. See which way they'll vote. Huh? You have to choose. <laughs> or, or beer and weed party. See, there are the... <laughs> but you, you can see, you know, the, the, from the people, the history of the people that are using it, you know, very highly uh, evolved uh, people on this planet use uh, marijuana, and they use it regularly. Uh, for instance, the, 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 one of the greatest athletes in the world, uh, Michael Phelps, you know, he uh, obviously he, he got took caught. a lot of heat for that he, ball. Yeah. Well, sure he did, but he, it's unnecessary heat. It's stupid heat, you know, because here's a guy that, that won drug-free, he, he won all the events because he was tested like crazy, but yet the only uh, drug that he would use recreationally was marijuana. So I see here that the Marijuana Policy Project is lobbying Congress to reduce the White House drug czar's budget because they say that he's running deceptive ad campaigns. They are. They what, are. Why? Well, the, the deceptive, uh, you know, they're, they're saying, you know, for instance, the... Uh, they say weed is bad. That's <laughs> bad. Well, they, they're, they're saying, you know, the, the uh, uh, gateway effect, for instance, right. or kids, you know. They're right. worried about kids, you know. In the meantime, we've got gun laws that are so ridiculous that more kids are dying from, from gunshots. Okay, but what would you say and to... And statistically, by the way, statistically, people, kids have more to fear from priests <laughs> than they do from <laughs> marijuana, so statistically. What, even so, what would you say to parents? Who say who worry legitimately that it could be a gateway drug? Uh, don't take your kids to church. <laughs> well, to the parents, uh, wor worry all you want, you know. But I mean, talk watch, to your watch kids. Your kids yeah. Talk to you, talk to your kids. You know, uh, talk to, uh, to 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 find find out really what would you rather have your kid uh, on alcohol or, or or smoking pot. Or you can quit pot. Pot is not addicting, by the way. 
That's why so many we people it for in the government. Years and nothing. Yeah, so, so so many people in the government. Nothing. What? Yeah, nothing. Yeah. No, no addiction. But but so many people in the government themselves, you know, and that are on the opposite side, had smoke pot. And there, you, you talk to a lot of lawyers and they say, oh, yeah, I tried it. I used to smoke pot. I don't do it anymore. And I don't want my kids doing it. Well, how come if it was good enough for you years ago, why isn't it good enough for your kids to have the same uh, chance that you had? You know? So if it were legalized uh, beyond medical usage, yeah. yes. uh, it would probably be regulated the way alcohol exactly. is regulated. Exactly. Yeah. As we much need, as we need a new tax source, uh, tax base. Uh, uh, California has a bill uh, pending before the legislature right now to, to do exactly that. And we'll see where it gets us. I mean, Fifty percent of all people in prisons right now in the United States are there for drugs. Uh, such a drain on the economy and such a, a drain on our budget that, uh, and that's not even counting interdiction or, or, or trying to track these people down. And that money could be used for much better resources such sure. as education. You, look, you guys know, even though this is the internet that yeah. we're on right now, oh, is you it? know that you know that somebody. I'm getting all serious for the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you know that somebody out there is going to see this and say. You know, why did you allow these people on to talk about this, you know? Well, because talk. this is America, you yeah. know. One thing, one thing about America, we do have freedom of speech, yeah. you know. I, so, went to, I went to jail, by the way, for, for uh, uh, selling a bong. On the a, Internet. A, a water pipe that was shipped across the state line. I went to jail for nine months, yeah. thanks to uh, Bush's government, you know, uh -huh. Ashcroft and, and Mary Beth Buchanan. Uh -huh. They put me in jail. For the offense of selling a water pipe, because it was what, because I was paraphernalia? You know, no, because it was paraphernalia. Lines. It was they, the Hayman Act. Yeah, they said uh, uh, in in my indictment, they said that uh, I made millions of dollars making movies like Up in Smoke. Therefore, I should go to jail. Now, how American is that? I don't have a ready response to that. Uh, one. That's good. Uh, what uh, <clears throat> What are you going to do on the tour? I mean. What more can you guys say to get laughs about being stoned? Jeez, I don't know. We're, we're not... going back to our <laughs> ball. We're going back to our old. Uh, we're going to be doing the Santa Claus and his old well, lady. Yeah. We're going to be doing a lot of bits we've ever never done, done live. before on, on stage uh, before live, and a lot of music. You know, we're musicians at heart, right. so we're going to do a lot more of that. We have this big catalog that all we have to do is go back and oh, let's try this one out and, you, and all and, the different say, characters. Yeah. It's going to be a, a really good show, and, and what we want the people to realize is that the more people that come to our show, the more of a statement they're going to make to help get pot legal. Yeah. And so if we get millions of people coming to our show, the press alone will just explode this whole marijuana thing. And, and we'll have it it's legal. A, it's, it's like ratification right now. I mean, we have 14 states in the Confederation, and we're looking for the rest of them to come and join and you us. you figure you'll eventually get a majority? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's quasi-legal now. You know, it's like immigration. Immigration for Mexicans is quasi-legal. <laughs> they come in, and we'll chase you down when we want to get out. But come on back, but we'll chase you down. But, <laughs> you know, but it's, it's that quasi-status, and the same thing with marijuana. I mean, you can walk down the street of any major city and smoke a joint and not get hassled, unless they want to hassle you. And remember, but marijuana... they still can. Mar they still can. He said, that's what we want to eliminate. Marijuana is the reason that the economy still uh, hasn't really to totally tanked. Yeah. Because it's, it's a, the biggest it's a, cash crop in California. It's a right? number in one Canada, cash crop in the world. It, it's the biggest. It's the, I was doing a movie there some time ago, and the, the day I got there, the headline in the Vancouver Sun was Pot, BC's biggest industry. Bigger than lumber, bigger than cattle, bigger than any other thing they have. It's the number one cash crop in the world. And we're letting the Canadians get all the money? Come on. Yeah. Canadians. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> Cheech Baron, Tommy Chong, thank you very much for being with us. Well, thank you. It was our pleasure. And, uh, can we leave you a joint? Uh, probably not, at least not on the record. Oh, okay. not, a, not on the. Not Thanks on the for watching Washington Unplugged. Please join us again tomorrow on CBSNews.com.